Hey, good morning. Tony Laporta here with NakedTrader.com. Um, one thing I could tell you about myself, 32 years in this industry, um, when I'm hot, uh, I, I'm red hot. And, uh, and like I wrote in my, uh, in my end of month commentary, my end of April month commentary, uh, April was the first losing month I had since October of 2010. And uh, so, yes, I have been very hot. My market calls have been very, very good. And, uh, and you know, April was a so-so month. I did lose some money, not a lot of money, but I did lose a little bit of money. And, uh, and May has not been a good month at all. So, um, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not hot at the moment. I mean, I'm, I'm getting it wrong. And, uh, you know, but it, it is my job to come here every day and tell you what I think. And, uh, and I've been telling you that I think the bonds have been a sale for the last two and a half points, and I've been wrong. Uh, I sold them yesterday, and I covered them this morning, and I'm sitting here waiting for another opportunity to sell them again. Uh, as we all see what's developing in the markets, all of a sudden, you know, one market, the silver market, has affected the whole of the marketplace, and I think that's a load of bollocks. So... Did silver belong up at fifty dollars an ounce? Possibly, you know. But you know, if if you know, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. I mean, you could see, you know, it it worked its way upward and then it spiked. You know what I mean? So, you know, where's silver this morning? Thirty eight, thirty nine dollars, something along those lines. I mean, gold at fifteen hundred. Okay, you know, it it could be time for a serious pullback here. You know, should that affect stocks? You know, all the players are all the same way. You know, it's why it's why we don't see volume anymore because the little man is out of the game. And um, so moving forward, you know, what are we going to see today? Um, we have gaps below in the spoos. Uh, it was filled after the number. Uh, the market is trading a below that gap right now. So are we going to fill it, you know, coming from, from the bottom up? Uh, we have a gap in the NASDAQ down to like, 63 and a half or 63 in the orders something like that um, we're still trading above that uh, the Dow futures there's no gaps there but I do have some decent support at the 125 quarter to 125 half area um, one that that being 12,005 and a quarter 12,005 and a half something along those lines those are the futures uh, I do have I will try one more time to sell the bonds around that 124 and a half area so um, going into tomorrow, I always like to s say, what are the markets telling us? And, uh, and at the moment, the markets are telling us the number is going to be bad. Uh, with the bonds refusing to sit down and now trading to new highs for the move, um, you know, and all of a sudden Wall Street taking a seat. You know, it'll be interesting to see where these markets finish. But, um, you know, going into tomorrow, I mean, it's, it's probably, a, it's probably a, a flip of the coin. You know, are we going to see a good number or not? I mean, they're looking for, what, around 185,000. You know, we'll see. Uh, the data seems to have turned to the negative all of a sudden, you know, after we have saw, shall we call it like an exhaustion kind of move higher where, you know, the, these indices moved up on, on nothing, on, on air. So... Interesting day today. I'm totally 100% flat. Uh, obviously lost a little bit of money overnight and uh, and I'm going to sit on my hands and probably do a whole load of nothing for the next two days. So I will leave that with you. I've been, like I said, I've, n I've been cold. So, you know, I've been a good fade this week. And uh, unfortunately, um, you know, that doesn't work all the time. But you know, 32 years in this business, I must be doing something right. You know, it's my job to have a view. To have a view, I want to sell the bond markets. I want to buy the indices. So do with that information as you please. Um, bonds are obviously higher. Indices are lower. So, you know, if you're coming out of the box in the indices, anyhow, let the sell smoke clear. Find your levels. Pick a level and buy it. Cheers. That's all I have. Good luck.